Okay, now what we're going to do is to test our air pump. This one that we have uh, down here. Uh, this is the, the voltage and the four hoses. The hoses that I presented you, we have already placed them. Uh, one hose in each entrance. We're gonna check if they fit correctly. And in the other side of the hose, in the other uh, uh, side, we're gonna use, we're gonna fit uh, the air stones. This is really important to place. Here we have them, and we're gonna open them up so we can place them in our houses. <coughs> It's pretty simple. A little hard to you know, make all the all, all the procedures, but it's gonna be really good for our house having a hydroponic system in house. These are really cheap air stones, actually. And these ones actually uh, are used by water filters to purificate uh, the weather. Uh, take a look, here is our air stone. And it has a little entrance on here that fits perfectly in our plastic hoses. So, let's try to, to fit them. Down here, so you can take a look. We're gonna place it with up some pressure. You're gonna need up a little forest, and there it is. As you can see. It's, it's a really good fit us down there with up some pressure and that's what we're gonna do with each airstone we have in total the four ones the total airstone we have uh, we're gonna fit them each of them to the uh, side of our houses we're gonna do that and we're gonna place it Place them in our hydroponic system to verify. Okay, people, take a look uh, how our hydroponic system is uh, is going. I already placed the uh, the, the the bed, and I place this metal as you can see because when I place all the water down here. Uh, it got a little deformed our plastic container so to maintain it uh, perfectly uh, still and on this side i place our air our air pump so it doesn't disturb the home labors at all so we're gonna connect it and let's see if our air stones are actually working and our air pump. So if I, f I uh, place this air pump, look at all that sparkly, sp that sparkly water. Look at those bubbles. So on this, uh, using this, we're gonna have a good oxygenation in our system. So our roots does not rot at all. Okay, people, we already placed the four air stones in our hydroponic system of floating root. And take a look at all those bubbles that are coming from the bottom of our uh, container. So, the last thing is to make the flower pets with the rock I, I told you, the Tessantle rock with the, wool, the rock wall that we have down here. So, here we have all the, the rock wall we left. 
We're gonna just use the 10 flower pots because we just made 10 uh, holes in our uh, in our bed. I'm gonna make one flower pot so you can see how I am how I am making them. So in the bottom I place up some uh, the suntle and then our rock wool and in those holes uh, and those holes uh, it's gonna pass up some water so I place a little of the suntle rocks down there so our rock wool does not get uh, too wet so I'm gonna place up some more the suntle to fill up the flower pot so our rock wool uh, gets actually uh, still, it stays still in our flower pot. So surrounding uh, our rock wool, we place the tesontle rock. Finishing up all the flower pots, we're gonna place uh, a seed of the variety we need or we, wa or we want. To, to plant, to finish up our hydroponic system, our homemade hydroponic system. And we're going to see the results in the following months. So let's finish our flower pots. Okay, people, we are ready to place the seeds in each uh, flower pot we have down here in this side. And I'm going to show you what we're going to plant actually down here. Uh, I'm gonna show you the package and how the seeds look like so you can uh, get a little familiarized with them and with each variety first we're gonna start with our jalapeno pepper plant look at the seeds I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at each seed so you can know here we have broccoli and their respective seeds in each uh, rock wool, we're gonna place two or three seeds. Look now at the lettuce, at the, the ear lettuce. Now look at the sweet pepper called California Wonder. The seeds look like this. Now it's uh, the Poblano pepper plant. And as you can see, the pepper varieties are really, really f uh, similar in their seeds. Here we have up some uh, tomato. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you these seeds because they are really, really little, microscopic. Here we have up some dill, aromatic plant. Take a look. Here we have some spinach. The spinach uh, surprised me, the seeds are really, really big. Here we have other sweet pepper called Cayenne, uh, other variety uh, apart from the California Wonder. And here we have up some beans. Obviously the seeds are really big from this variety. So we're gonna place them on each on each flower pot up some seeds. So be right back. So to place them in our hydroponic system. Be right back. Okay, the seeds are already in our flower pots in our uh, uh, rock wool. And depending on the on how tall the plants are going to grow, we're gonna place them in order. Uh, so uh, so each plant does not block uh, the the sunlight. So we're gonna start with the uh, smaller plants. We're gonna start with uh, tomato. It is not that big, this plant here is not that big. We're gonna place it down there. And look how it fits perfectly in the holes our flower, flower pots. Other plant that is not really big, the spinach. We're gonna place it down here, the spinach. Now, let's see how uh, what our plant is not that tall uh, the peppers are not that big we're, we're gonna let them uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna place them in the middle. We're gonna place down here the lettuce. In our system, there it is. This, this one went a little deeper, but there's no problem at all. The, okay, now we're gonna place in the middle part up some uh, broccoli. First the broccoli in this side. We're gonna place them. We're gonna place it down here. There it is. Really good fit. Now deal the deal plant. We're gonna place it down here. All right. Now it's perfectly fit. We're gonna uh, continue with. Let's see, with the beans. No, the beans, uh, I think the beans are taller than the peppers. So we're going to place a pepper variety, the jalapeno pepper plant. It's going to be good. We're going to place it down here. So it fits perfectly. Okay. Now, uh, Let's go with uh, with the sweet pepper, the cayenne variety, the sweet pepper. Down here, down there is perfectly fit. Now the tallest ones, that is that are the beans, we're gonna place it uh, down here in order. So we don't forget what we have planted down here in each flower pot. Now let's go with the. Uh, sweet pepper, California wonder pepper. I'm gonna place it down here. And the last flower pot, that is the poblano pepper plant. We're gonna place it down here in the corner. It fits perfectly and we are done. Let's see if all are perfectly fit. And yeah, they are perfectly fitted in our uh, bed, styrofoam bed. There it is. Really good. Well, we have finished our hydroponic system, as you can see. It was uh, really hard to make, but let's wait for up for some results. Uh, I'm really happy of doing this. I I really want to to see the results. If they really ger if some seeds really germinate the correct way down here, and after uh, the plant germinate, we're gonna see about the nutrients. I'm really happy. Uh, thanks a lot for looking at this, and you can comment me anything down here in the below part of the comments, and really take care. Uh, and we're gonna keep you updating about this project. Thanks a lot and see ya.